back once again to Herbally Yours right here on The Voice of Nassau Community College. Today, you are listening to Ellen Kamai, yours truly, and you can find out more about all of our online classes, which are CE Broker Certified for Credit, as well as our free herb walks all around Long Island, where you can join with us to find out what plants you can use for food and medicine are growing right outside your door. Just visit naturalnurse.com. And go to Calendar, and you'll see the whole list of classes. You can also email us there. Our guest today, uh, uh, Jennifer Gell, who's a Master's of Science, we're talking about her book, The Science of Planetary Signatures in Medicine. And to find her, um, one of the best places to go would be her website, which is soundworksbygel, G-E-H-L dot com. That's soundworksbygel. I'd also like to remind you that all of our shows and many of the other talk shows here at WHPC are archived online, so you can listen to them anytime. So you can visit the website and get the links to the archive so you can track down today's show and many of our other shows here on WHPC. So welcome back, Jennifer. Thank you for being our guest today. Thank you. Now, you're discussing a fascinating topic, and there's a word that might be a really new word that I definitely would like to um, investigate, and that was what you're talking about in terms of acu. Tonics. That might be a new word for a lot of people. What is <laughs> yeah. that? Well, <clears throat> acutonics was developed by acupuncturist Donna Carey when, and her colleague at the time, uh, musician Marjorie de Munich, and it has been carried on by her, um, Ellen Franklin, the CEO, uh, the current CEO of Acutonics Institute. But um, Donna was the clinic supervisor at the Northwest Institute of Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine, and she developed the system after actually having a near-death experience in which she heard the music of the spheres, and she wanted to find a way to deliver those healing tones to the body by way of the acupuncture system. And so she began working with the history and the science of the sounds. Um, Hans Cousteau's work, which is based on Johannes Kepler's Laws of Planetary Motion, but took the mathematical and frequency information and transposed it so that it could be audible, audibly heard. And it is those, it is that, um, science and background upon which the calibration of the tuning forks are based. Now, are these tuning forks colored tuning yes, forks? Yes, they are. I think I have a set of those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, um, you know, we have low, medium, and high octaves. The high tuning forks are meant to be used above the body in the energy field. The lower and mid octaves have resonators on the tuning forks which allow the vibration to continue once it touches the body. That's how we use them, when I decide yeah. which tone is best for a person. And, of course, that has to do with a lot of things, which yeah. you might want to share. Once we start the tuning fork, which is usually started by a mallet just hitting it, uh-huh. the, the bottom end of the fork is actually placed on specific points. Yes. And you can feel that. I mean, anyone can feel it. It's a yes. very specific vibration. Absolutely. And what clients tend to report, depending on what is going on with them, I mean, it can be anything ranging from relief of an acute migraine to a a simple and yet very profound feeling of well-being, where they just feel completely centered and present in their body, while at the same time feeling expanded and one with the, you know, the environment at large, the cosmos. So if you're teaching someone, how do you teach them which therapeutic modality to use for which person? Um, You mean whether herbal medicine or tones or... 
Well, you know, let's say you were going to use tones. How would you decide which tone to oh. use? Okay, well, see, that is where it, this is going to vary a lot among and between the certified acutonics practitioners. But the way I use the tuning forks is what I love to do is customize the treatment to their cosmic imprint, their natal chart. So um, having an affinity and such a deep passion for astrology, I want to get the story. I want to understand the individual's unique imprint and what their relationship is to the greater whole, the cosmos. So by looking at their chart, I can see, you know, I, I put a great deal of emphasis on emotional well-being and healing. So it's the relationship between the sun and the moon, the conscious person, and the unconscious needs and security needs, but also the nodes of the moon, which tell a, a deeper story about where they've come from, what their default mechanism is or energy, and um, where they are headed for greater fulfillment in their life. So anything that challenges the south node, I, I'm, basically it's a homeopathic approach to using tones, or what I call harmonic homeopathy. So I'm using the planetary frequencies that are knocking on their door, basically, um, you know, wanting to awaken growth in this area, whether it's career or relationships or um, a creative expression, whatever it is the transits are triggering or highlighting those aspects of their chart. And so it's a combination of what their natal imprint is and then what's happening right now, what is going on, and, and how they are being called forth to be more of who they are. So I use those tones in combination in their treatment, and then depending on what's going on with them physically, emotionally, I'll determine which channels we use the eight extraordinary vessels in acutonics. Um, they're deeper than the 12 ordinary channels, but they regulate the energy um, among the internal organs as well as the 12 ordinary channels. Well, I'd like to remind you listeners that you are listening to Herbal Yours on the voice of Nassau Community College 90.3 WHPC. I'm Ellen Kamai, naturalnurse.com, and my guest today is author Jennifer Gale, and she is talking about her new book, The Science of Planetary Signatures in Medicine. Now, I know another thread that you're pulling together throughout the book is weaving together the story of ancient science mm -hmm. and the original tapestry of medicine with more modern and scientific evaluations. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, we have just a few minutes left, <laughs> so is there anything in particular you would like me to focus on? Okay, well, what kind of ancient science have you studied, and what, what's interesting that's being brought forth into, the, into now and into the future? It's, it's the thread of continuity that can be seen among all of the cultures around the globe, from the ancient physicians, from Pythagorean times, throughout um, and up to Hippocrates, then the separation that occurred, which I just briefly talked about. But there is a connective thread between, um, you know, all, like I said, China, Egypt, India, um, the Pythagorean mystery school era, and then what it has to do, or what I find connecting it to modern science is how we are discovering how malleable the universe is and that our thoughts represent vibration. Anything we focus on, the observation itself changes immediately what we are observing. So the observer, the person, you know, I, we live in a universe that is built upon reciprocity. It truly is about what we, you know, reaping what we sow. It's not a religious doctrine. It is a cosmic law that what we put out is exactly what comes back to us. So the more we can understand who we truly are, what our purpose is, 
then and and live it the more we're living it the more life rewards us with physical emotional spiritual mental well-being and as we're doing that we're contributing to the collective it's not a selfish thing at all to want to heal the self to know the self because we are adding to the collective exponentially when we do that also like you said just by changing what you say and what you think which sometimes people have to wrestle with that actually Uh, get a hold of what is coming out of their mouth because those sounds actually can create form. And many people don't believe that, but we can certainly see it happening before our eyes. Absolutely. And I do talk about that in the book, how sound immediately transforms through the principle of harmony what it touches. Right, and it's an actual physical wave. I know yeah. your co-author is actually a professor, yeah. and I'm sure, you know, he he backs a lot of this with various scientific studies as well. Yes. So I want to thank you. That was uh, very, very interesting. How would people get a hold of you and a copy of The Science of Planetary Signatures in Medicine? Uh, thank you, Ellen. Well, my website is soundworks by Gail, G-E-H-L, dot com. My contact information is easily found on the website. The book can be bought on the front page, on the home page. You click on that, and um, you're off and running. It's also available, um, should be available at most Barnes & Nobles, at Amazon. Um, well, the usual outlets. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's excellent. Well, thank you so much for writing this comprehensive guide to using astrology, geometry, and sound for profound health and healing. Thank you, Ellen. And it's really, I'm sure, satisfying to see people who use this therapy and wind up feeling so much better, sometimes when all else actually was rather elusive. Yes. And also look into the United States Psychotronic Association. I'm sure they would love to have you as a speaker. And um, even this year, we'll be meeting there in Chicago in uh, July. And, of course, there's opportunities to join in and have a table because that's where people actually understand this to a really high level. And you'd meet many colleagues to interact with. So you can get in touch with me if you want more information. Thank you. I will do that. that. We'd love to see you there. Appreciate it. And I'd like to thank you listeners to tuning in to Herbally Yours, produced at the studios of 90.3 WHPC, Nassau Community College in Garden City, New York. For further information, email whpc at ncc.edu. This is your host, Ellen Kamai at naturalnurse.com, inviting you to join us next week for another edition of Herbally Yours. Until then, stay healthy.